Hello YouTube! Today we are making a video on how to pick out toys for your rats at Goodwill. Um, this is my first time recording this type of video on my newish computer, new to me computer. Um, so you'll have to excuse any hiccups and bugs. I'm still trying to learn how to use my microphone and all of my tools and apps together as I recently switched from a Mac back to a Windows machine. And um, Hubby took the Mac because he needed it more than I did. So I'm relearning everything from scratch. It's probably going to have some bumps, but hopefully this video will be helpful for you and hopefully it will help you in picking out new fun enrichment for your Rados. Stay tuned! So this is a little red barn toy. It had a sliding chicken or rooster opening doors on the front. Um, those are probably not a big deal because they don't latch. And then there's a yellow door on the side, which also didn't latch. Can you turn it around for me? Then we turned it around and I'm showing you there's this sliding section here, which is kind of problematic because there's a groove that the toes can get stuck in. Um, I tend to avoid toys with sliding parts like that. So this little airplane just has a door that opens. Otherwise, it's just something that needs to be scrubbed and is easy for the rats to play in and safe. And she, I found it. So, this is a little Fisher Price dollhouse. Look this at would this. be kind of fun to climb it's on. It's the exact same thing that JoJo has. It's hard to clean though because there's all these little grooves, but nothing's really going to pinch or poke or any of that. Lots of fun to climb in though. This is a little people barn. There's not really anything for them to get caught under. This bed on the top flips up, but if you left it down, they wouldn't know that. So, hold on, baby. So, it has a speaker here, so you need to scrub that. Otherwise, this would be a great toy. So, we have this car carrier that has a part that flips down and it has this top portion that could be used as a slide. This would be pretty safe because your rats aren't going to know that they can move the parts around. So this is a Little People castle. I think it's Disney World. What? Got it. That's kind of problematic, but this part would be really fun because it's got a slide. It looks fairly simple to clean, relatively flat edges. So, it's pretty safe. So these are three small plastic toys that I didn't make videos for because I didn't really feel like it was necessary, but you'll see a yellow school bus on the top left, a triangular baby toy on the top right, and then there's this little train type toy on the bottom. Um, all of these toys are perfectly fine things to put in your rat cage. They just may not be as interesting um, to varying degrees. So the school bus is a solid piece. It didn't, uh, actually I think it did have an opening door and I may or may not have purchased that after all. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, it does have lots of little grooves that you will need to scrub when you clean it, but otherwise it didn't have anything moving that was going to pinch or poke or catch toes and tails or cause problems. And then the little triangular toy I thought was a really good idea because there's lots of different things that turn and move, but once again, nothing to catch or grab toes or injure your rat in any way. Just depending on how you set it in the cage, it could be very interesting. And then you've got this little train toy, which once again, lots of parts to scrub if you needed to wash it when you're finished but it also has all these little sections where the rats can climb over it and stash things in it and just a simple interesting toy. This would be especially good, I think, for baby rats. This next section of videos is of toys that my rats already have access to and that I rotate between. Um, hopefully going through all of those and explaining why I picked them will give you some ideas as well. So we have this little boat. It's a mega box boat. I think this was like $2. Um, you can see there's lots of openings for them to go in in the back. 
several on the front. All the windows are big enough for my full-sized male rats to go in. Um, you can see they kind of have these grooves though. That's the only downside is stuff gets kind of stuck in there and you have to really scrub it to um, get it clean. Um, it comes apart at the bottom and I'm trying to figure out how to do that with one hand, which was very difficult and I apologize for the awkward camera angle, but it comes apart so you can clean both pieces independently. Um, that's it. This is the Batman tunnel. It probably once belonged to a track of some sort based on these grooves at the top. It has an opening in the front, on one of the sides, and on the back. And it doesn't really get very dirty. There's not lots of spaces for the rats to reach and mess with. And it also has a handle, which is kind of nice. This toy has lots of cute little moving parts. You can see that here. Something interesting for the rats. It probably was for balls or cars. And it has sound, which I leave on because the rats find it interesting. Um, the only downside to it is there's several places where things can get stuck, like this corner here. Um, in between there. Um, their toes are fine, but just all these little spots catch dirt and crumbs and pee and things like that. But otherwise, it's a great toy. I get lots of questions about this toy anytime someone sees it in my rat cage. Um, I tend to leave it open because once it's open, there's nothing that can possibly injure your rats about it. Um, it has lots of moving parts like the flag, this cute little bird, um, it has a slot. It used to be a mailbox, so it had mail, but we never have problems with their feet or anything getting in it because they don't climb on it. They tend to go inside it through this back hole and then sleep with their head sticking out. So um, it probably had sound, but I have never turned, gotten new batteries in it. There's lots of little moving things like this little snail, and um, yeah, it's just not a big deal, little butterfly. Pretty cute toy. Next we have this barn. It has openings on the top and bottom in the front. It has openings on the bottom of the silo and at the top, which my baby rat could fit in, but my larger boys probably not so much. It's got a top and bottom shelf. They usually climb in from the bottom of this rather than from the top down. And they like to peek out the little windows on the sides. So this little house has lots of cute little things on the front that move. And the door opens and closes, but it does not latch. Um, you can see I opened and closed it several times and it didn't actually click shut. It has a speaker that does get pee in it, but there's nothing I've been able to do to clean that all the way. The roof also opens and closes and there's lots of space, so they're not going to get stuck in it. They can climb in and out without the roof actually opening. They might pinch toes in those corners, but I've never had that happen. And there's a window on the side. Hopefully this video has shown you some ways that I pick out toys at Goodwill or from thrifted places, um, yard sales, secondhand in general. Um, basically what to look for would be places that pee and food are going to get stuck. How hard are they to clean? Are there moving parts? Are those moving parts dangerous? Um, and some of that you're going to have to decide for yourself because you know your rats and you know their mobility better than I do. So obviously if you have a rat with some sort of like hind leg degeneration or something, then you're going to need to take that into account when you pick toys out for them. But hopefully this gives you some great ideas and I hope your rats get some new toys out of it. Thanks for watching.